This meeting is being recorded. Good morning and welcome to today's episode of the Contributor Summit EU 2023 meeting. Today's date is, I don't know what is today's date, January 23rd, 2023. If you have not already done so, please add yourself into the uh, document, which we will post into the chat in just two seconds. There you go. There's the doc for anyone who doesn't have the link. And we start today with our best announcement. We have the whole team of leads assembled. Hooray! Yay! We have all the leads. So that means it's party time. <laughs> Wait. Uh, work time, then party time. Well, yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> party time happens, but we'll get to Xander's parts later. Uh, now that we have all the leads finalized, we need to fill in the lists of shadows uh, to make sure everybody is gathering their list correctly, um, making sure that everyone who is signing up as a shadow understands that this isn't just a yeah, we're just going to show up and have some fun, that there's work to be done, and there is an expectation that the shadows at least have in mind that they might be able to lead a particular topic at a later point in time. Whether or not life gets in the way is a whole separate story. So that is, I think, everything we have from the leads right now. Brienne has gone through in her next section and absolutely gone to town on what we have for updates from the CNCF. So Brienne, <laughs> take it I away. Mean, I figured you guys missed me so much the last two weeks. I better show like I've actually been doing something. <laughs> So yes, updates. Uh, biggest question I have is about branding. Um, obviously we had everything kind of planned and branded for 2020. And I just wanted to see if we wanted to keep that same design and branding, um, obviously just update it for 2023, or would we like to completely redesign, rebrand everything? Um, the only concern I do have with that is obviously it would delay a few things, um, you know, as far as putting the branding on the website and the registration and stuff like that, but we still could get them open. We just might not have the branding there. Whereas if we update what we had for 2020, it's ready to go. So any thoughts on that? I do have the link to what the branding looked like in there. If anybody needed a refresher. And I, I clicked on it and have requested access. Oh. Um, Let me. My guess, and we'll leave this open to the team and we can discuss it in the Summit staff channel, we'll probably keep the branding the same um, okay. unless there's any reference to the year, but I don't think there is. Um, the only thing it does say is just, uh, here, let me just, I can't. I don't think I must not actually own the original folder that it's in. So I'm not getting the request for uh, access. So <laughs> okay, just then, cool. Then we will take that one offline <laughs> and we will, uh, we'll deal with that in the Slack channel. Yeah. I'm but thinking, I... I'm thinking Deb probably owns the original folder. So she's probably getting all the requests, <laughs> mm -hmm. but um, so yeah, it just, it's, it says Amsterdam 2020 on it. All we'd have to do is just change 2020 to 2023. That's the only thing. Um, other than that, it's very neutral and, you know, nothing specific to 2020. So. Yeah. And if I recall correctly, we already have shirts printed. I we, don't know if the shirts already have the same logo or not. We'll need to investigate that. I don't. We never found the shirts. Yeah. So the shirts are at our storage facility um, okay. in North Carolina. Cool. So they do have them. Um, let's see. Open sharing settings. Hold on one second. Okay. 
so let me i don't know i do have the link in there for the shirts but i'm guessing it's probably going to have the same situation the shirts do not have like a date or anything on there it is just okay. the kubernetes wheel so we can reuse those we do already have them um so obviously that would help cut down on costs and obviously we already have them so we might as well use them um, and there's no other branding or logo uh nope. references on the shirts no nope, actually it was a it's like a van gogh painting the starry night painting and then the kubernetes wheel is just kind of mixed in there so um but yeah there's no year or a specific branding on there beautiful that sounds pretty cool actually yeah it, it's really neat and awesome. i would love if everybody could see it but apparently i don't have the ability to share it <laughs> okay we'll deal yeah. with that later then yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think that's part of the whole, a lot of what we've done in the past, what was supposed to be done for 2020 is work that is already done. And that means that's work we don't have to do. So as much as we can reuse, I think we want to lean into that as possible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's kind of the plan. I just wanted to verify um, that we're okay doing that. Uh, like I said, for the celebration, we kind of had already planned out for the Strand Zooid. So I just wanted to make sure that we're okay using that same venue again. They are available. I've already been in communication with them. Um, so if we're good with that, I can kind of move forward with getting you know the contract and reviewing everything for them. Um, same with, yeah, the, the swag, the shirts, we have those already. Uh, branding, if you're okay with just updating the year, then that's ready to go. So that's gonna make everything kind of really streamlined and simple. Um, the registration form, I will make sure everybody has access to that. That is updated. I just need um, everybody to kind of double check it. There are a few places um, where you can up make a few updates. They are highlighted in yellow. Uh, once that is approved, then we can get registration launched and ready to go. Uh, same with the attendee comms doc. I have updated that as well. Um, again, any updates that need to be made are highlighted in yellow. So uh, just go in and make any changes there. And once that is approved, we can um, start using that. And also don't have access to that doc. <laughs> I'm getting all the requests, so I will go through. I'm getting them like all at once, so I will go through them as soon as um, I get off here and approve everybody. And then um, I, I believe we can share the docs with ContribX as a list, correct? Or do we want to keep these uh, restricted? Uh, so we prefer to keep them restricted just because they are part of our larger planning. Okay. Um, drive that we have so we don't really want them shared out there with everybody if okay. possible um and then another question i had is awards will we be doing the awards in no. your no okay just in chicago no. all right we only do them at north america we do them once a year oh good to know all right perfect um and update on space allocations i know people have been kind of waiting we are finalizing that i actually had a meeting with our larger team last week and we are thinking of shifting what was allocated for 2020 to a new space which i think actually will work out better it is more removed and private which i think would be nice the space that they had us in was a little bit more central and with the new colo setup people would be walking through the space to get to lunch and i i didn't like that very much so um we are trying to shift everything to a new location and as soon as i have that finalized um i will update that in the planning doc and let everybody know but i think you'll be much happier with the new space that we have proposed yeah i mean as long as we have good signage which i mean we had great signage in in uh, detroit so yeah, we definitely will make sure there's lots of signage because the venue as a whole is uh, pretty confusing. <laughs> so we will make sure there's Yay! lots of signage. <laughs> yes, nothing, nothing like a very confusing venue. 
ushers are for day of ops. Got it. It's a keep Dang. going you tradition, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's an interesting one. It's divided up into like three sections, and but you have to go to one side in order to get to the other side. It's it's mm. interesting. <laughs> but signage, we will have good signage, so no worries there. <laughs> Um, any other questions for me right now? Um, no, I think you've, I mean, that crushed everything yeah. we had for all of our conversations. We do need to make sure when we get the reg form online that we have two separate reg forms because we need one yes. for normal people and one for staff. Yep. So you'll see um, on the registration form that I've created, there are two different paths. You'll see them in columns. One is for staff, one is for regular attendees. So um, it is already laid out that way and it will be set up that way. And I will make hey. sure everybody has access to see the form. <laughs> so I will do that right after this. <laughs> Excellent. Um, wow, that was a lot all at once. Yes. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, that's that's everything I have. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was it. like all of it, right? I mean, everything patches, all at once, I guess. Like, uh, next up, those, then, right? uh, next up brings us to content. Jason, got anything to share? Uh, yeah, I'm working on finalizing the uh, shadows. I'll have that done by the end of the day. Uh, publish the uh, list of that to the issue as soon as that's done. Um, other than that, uh, I'm going to review the information uh, that Brianne has provided and uh, reach out to the shadows to start working out what the content plan could be for the event. Awesome. Um, I do think it might be a good idea to get the unconference discussion GitHub issue up sooner rather than later. Probably probably at the same time as the CFP. Yeah. Whenever we, we get to that, that point. Because I, I, I just went back and looked at the last one and realized that that issue opened like two weeks before the conference. I'm like, mm, maybe we should do that a little earlier. Yeah, there, there's a balance to be had too, because if we do it too far ahead of time, we might have people that aren't actually at the mm. event that propose things and we don't have people to properly lead those things. Uh, but I do agree, we do need to get it up uh, in it much more in advance than we did for uh, uh, the North America in Detroit. That's fair, that's fair. Awesome, thank you, Jason. Uh, Aunt Chris. Come yeah. The finalized list of shadows, I'll get that to you in the next 24 hours. And then once I get access to all the docs, I'll be doling out emails to write for folks. So, yeah. Awesome. And I know uh, one of the one of the docs is the list of all the columns we need to send out. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we've been working off a copy from last year, you know, just to get the announcement out and everything. So just makes life easy. Merge those two and done. No need to reinvent the wheel, folks. Right. Uh, next up, Mars, congratulations. You've got Reg. Yay. Yeah, I'll send uh, the shadow slates later, uh, later today, tomorrow. Awesome. Um, I think once, uh, once we have the reg forms up and running, that's probably our next most urgent thing is getting the reg form open. No. Absolutely. Not that we're waiting on Google Docs approval or anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, after that, next up, Xander. Talking about the celebration. You should probably have some input into, you know, at least reviewing the site that we picked. I just looked at the website. It looks gorgeous. Like, it looks great. All, okay. yeah, all in. Um, Input received. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was talking, I was thinking about like some of the stuff that we did the last couple. So like trivia was the thing that we did that the last couple contributor summit celebrations. And I think um, looking back on it, like it requires a bit of active engagement and 
for those that are just looking to to kind of socialize, um, I think it can be a little distracting. But we do want to be sure that we provide an activity that is not just drinking for those that would like to have an activity to to do. Um, so. What I was thinking this time is uh, maybe putting a team crossword puzzle together um, that we can print out and folks can form teams and, and fill out the crossword together. And then we can have prizes for that. And then it doesn't require, you know, the, the microphone set up and everything. And um, it, I think it, it'll provide a good way for like those that want to have an activity to do that, but not distract those that just want to have some socialization time, um, if that sounds okay to folks. I was thinking um, initially like doing a, a raffle, but I think I'd like to have something a little more activity based for those that would like it. So a, a crossword kind of stood out because we can use some of the same kind of questions that we would have used in trivia. So. Okay. I like it. Uh, do we want to do it only printed? Do we also want to do maybe, uh, does, does anybody know anything about doing like an online crossword? If we had the QR codes, I'm just spitballing. Oh, I'm going to build it online. And I think, yeah, folks could fill it out online. Then that's an option. Okay, cool. I like that. I like the idea. Um, I'm going to take some notes. That's really all I have for, for celebration. Like, I think the only part that I I actively planned last time was was the trivia. So, okay, okay. I know last time I was one of the people that harped on uh, wanting to get karaoke in there, and then it ended up just being a disaster. Uh, <laughs> I saw it's one or two people singing, <laughs> but well, it was also a very confined venue. Uh, it looks yeah, like the venue, the venue that we're looking at now has a lot of different areas. Um, so we'll need to know which and or how many areas we have because we might not have the whole facility or we might, I don't know. We'll need to figure that out. Um, and if we've got half a dozen different contained areas, then maybe we can do a couple different things. Um, or we can just let people wander around because everybody is, will have, you know, had lots of travel and we'll just be tired and want to chill out. And the good thing is it's around the corner, so we don't need like additional kind of people accompanying people over to the venue and to the location. Ooh, I like that idea, Kaylin. Having it would be nice to have a way for new folks to mingle mm. to avoid being intimidated talking to people. Um, I like that idea. We should work on that. We can put something together, some Every once, every 15 minutes, somebody yells, switch, and you have to go to a different table. But, uh, uh, I mean, it works at the, at the mentoring sessions. It's a little bit light, though. We should see. Uh, we will make that a note if I can find where I put the document. Uh, some activity to facilitate new folks meeting other folks She's been there for a while. anything else on the celebration any other comments questions recipes uh there will not be a virtual audience for this particular event the the contributor summit is entirely 100 percent in person Anything else? Okay, moving on. Ops with Frederico. Congratulations, you got volunteered. Thank you very much. Well, I, I opened my mouth last time, so it's it's not it's also my fault. And uh, but uh, serious, it's, it's great. So, um, not yet absolutely sure what, uh, what uh, I will do, but I still have plenty of, of time to, to learn it. Um, I, in, in the meantime, um, I've confirmed the amount of uh, shadow volunteers that we had in, in GitHub and made uh, a list with them. 
I think we have five that have said that they will be on on site. Uh, and I I added a comment just to make sure that they confirm that they will be on site. So um, that's something. And after my next step would be to um, prepare some uh, communication with them and, uh, and create a Slack group, something like that, an email, just to onboard them in some way. But before that, I would like to be better prepared to be able mm -hmm. to explain things uh, because you, I'm you and I'll spend I'm some time 100 percent sure yeah yeah that's you and I will spend some time this on. week um ping me on slack with what your schedule looks like um right because you're you're, you're in, in an EU uh, time zone time zone uh yeah, I am yeah. in, in plus seven Eastern, I think Eastern plus Pacific I'll check. The, I think Slack has that information. I'll I'll give you something. Yeah. Sure. And you and I will Thank touch base, and I'll I'll get you ramped up on everything that ops needs to do. Excellent. Yeah, that's great. So with with that, I think I'm I'm set. Awesome. I was actually near and... the the site last week because I was in 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 Amsterdam uh, Friday. So I I just went around the place. So it looks it looks great. Awesome. And ops, ops is, uh, I suppose, lucky in that it the start of ops's duties is much later than everyone else's because it's more concerned with being on site and what the coordination is. So you have a couple weeks at least, if not, you know, more, you, yeah. you have weeks before you have yeah. to start getting stuff done. Yeah, when, when we have like the schedule roughly done, you can start trying to find people to to fill the slots kind of but until Excellent. until the schedule is not done you're pretty much still in in freeze in, mode in <laughs> on, on, on that note one doubt just uh is there a um, fixed deadline for accepting shadows just thinking that if uh, one week two weeks three weeks from now someone drops by and says i am me too is, is that is that okay or do we have like for a... ops it is okay yeah for for other ones that might be difficult but for ops you could get people three weeks before the event who just show up okay. and say can i help you're like yeah i'll put you to work excellent thank you okay uh next up we have the sig meet and greet with kim kim is down here that's a short segment uh, if I recall correctly, in the past, the SIG meet and greet has typically been done at the very, very last minute, typically by Josh, <laughs> just filling in because somebody needed to do it. So, uh, so the fact that we have someone weeks and weeks ahead of time is already better than where we usually are. I was going to say the the biggest thing with the SIG meet and greet is mainly bugging folks for volunteers ahead of the event. And mm -hmm. the day of the event runs smooth because, um, well, I guess it'll be Brienne now. They have all the labels that they need for all the tables and everything will be pretty much set up and ready to go day of for us. Awesome. 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 Uh, let's make a note. <laughs> Needs legwork beforehand to coordinate with SIG leads. Okay. Anything else? Anybody got anything else? Going once, going twice. Sold to the man in Germany. Very efficient. Excellent. All right. Love it. Getting stuff done. I will see everyone next week. Frederico, you and I will talk later this week. Anybody else got anything else? We'll talk about it in the Slack channel. See you all online. See you, everyone. Take care, everyone.